Today, I'll be showing you an application in the Google Play Store that you can use to cast from one Android smartphone or tablet to another. And it can even be used to cast to a Windows PC without any additional hardware as well. Chromecast can be an incredibly useful piece of hardware that, when combined with the Google Cast protocol, allows you to mirror the audio and video from one device to another. Most people use this by casting music, a movie or TV show, or even an application with some photos to a TV so that they can share the experience with others in the room. This can be done with a Chromecast dongle attached to the TV, an Android set-top box like Google TV, or even with built-in hardware in your smart TV. But without the hardware, it can be rather difficult to cast something from one device to another, say, from one Android smartphone to a tablet. But there's an application in the Google Play Store that you can install that will unlock this ability. It's called Cast Receiver, and it can be downloaded for free, although you will need to pay for an in-app purchase if you want to use it for more than five minutes at a time. You can find this by searching for Cast Receiver in the Play Store, all one word, but I'll be sure to include a direct link to this app down in the video description below. So once installed, let's go ahead and open it up. And there's not much to the application itself. However, we can see at the top of the app that we have our device name. And then at the bottom of the app, we have a status message telling us that this device is now ready to cast. So all we need to do is pull up a piece of content on one device and then tap the cast button to see that device name that we saw in the app appear as an eligible cast target. And we can see that everything that is being played right here is being played on our target cast device. And it works just as you would expect when casting. Just remember that this app is only free for five minute sessions. It's basically a way to test and make sure that the app works for your situation before deciding to buy it. So for anyone who really enjoys this feature, we can unlock the unlimited Google Cast sessions within the Cast Receiver app with a $4 in-app purchase. Now, I mentioned that we can use this to cast to a Windows PC as well which is possible thanks to the Windows Subsystem for Android feature, aka WSA. Once WSA is set up on your Windows PC, which does require Windows 11, if I recall correctly, then all you need to do is sideload the cast receiver APK file, install it, and then open it up. With that done, you can then cast to your Windows PC as if it had a Chromecast dongle, dongle connected to it. Now going back into the Cast Receiver app itself, we can see that there aren't many options to mess with. If we tap on the hamburger menu at the top right corner, we're taken to a simple settings page where we can disable the service, change the name of our cast target, 
and disable an experimental hardware codec feature that the app uses by default. So if you noticed the performance was laggy, then you'll want to disable this before testing it again, as that could be the reason for the issue. Now, I'm not very happy with the in-app purchase to unlock the unlimited timed session, but I understand where this developer is coming from. And if you like the work, that small developers are doing for operating systems like Android, then you should support them by paying for it. Cast Receiver is a great way to mirror your Android device with another using the Google Cast protocol. And I would be curious to hear if any one of you have used this app in the past. I was only made aware of it recently, but found it to be incredibly useful and very easy to use.